welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Emery. I just graduated from college. I make videos and I'm also going to the beach next week, which is what this video is for. Today is Tuesday and I leave on Saturday, which means that I am packing several days in advance, which is not my style. Normally I pack like the night before. So I'm excited to actually not overpack as much, hopefully, because when I pack the night before, I just like throw everything in and I'm like, oh, I need options. And then I pack half my closet. I'm probably going to end up still doing that, but this is going to be a methodical approach. Yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, definitely take a moment to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you never miss an upload and give this video a like. Leave me a comment telling me what your favorite look was or just whatever, honestly. I love hearing from you guys. I love any comments that I get. Got my suitcase here. This is from the brand London Fog and we're going for a week, but I'm breaking out the big suitcase because we're driving, so like, doesn't matter. We are going to Polly's Island, which is about an hour north of Charleston and I will be vlogging, of course, so yeah. I've got my coffee here, so that definitely means it's go time. Let's get into this. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to be the most extra by using this spare clothing rack. And I'm going to go into my closet and grab things that I think are kind of like suited towards the look that I want. But if for some strange reason you don't happen to have a clothing rack just laying around, you can do what I normally do, which is just like lay things on the bed or lay them on the floor just to kind of like, you know, visualize. Okay, I know this looks crazy, but as you can see, there's kind of a theme going on, which is going to make things easier because I'm going to have like a more cohesive look. I've got tank tops, short sleeves, long sleeves, and then pretty much all of my button ups, which I like to wear as cover ups. And I brought out all of them because I don't even know what swimsuits I'm bringing. A few dresses. This dress is actually one that Anne ordered for graduation and she ended up not going with it, but liked it enough to keep it. Imagine pictures on the beach at sunset in this. This is like low-key a dress that you would get engaged in. I didn't mean anything by that, that was a joke. I'm gonna go through and decide. I got this dress for $15 from TJ Maxx. The only thing is I wish the pattern was on like a white background or maybe like a light pink. I'm definitely bringing this one as well. I also found it on clearance. It's not every day that I just instantly fall in love with a dress, but it definitely happened with this one. This is probably my favorite dress. It's from For Love and Lemons and it's this beautiful blue. Oh my gosh, this also, beach sunset vibes. What if I just... I did that jokingly, but like unironically. I think I'm actually gonna wear them. I did finally cave and buy a pair of Crocs. I'm the last person in my family to do so. And the reason that I got some was, well, because we're going to the beach. And last time we went to the beach, we were jumping over waves and I landed on a jagged seashell and sliced the bottom of my heel, like my foot open. Fun fact, I haven't been in the ocean since then. And that was probably like 2012. So I got some shoes to wear in the ocean. Tell me what you think of my gibbets game. Back on topic. I think this this is the last one that I'm gonna bring. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just try to put together a few outfits. We'll see what we come up with. <laughs> so now I'm going to try these on and see if my imagination is as good as I think it is. I always pack by the outfit and I always try on my outfits first just to make sure that it all looks good because I feel like a lot of times things that look good like color scheme wise or style wise will just look weird on, you know? But comment down below what your favorite outfit is. I also just thrifted these pants. Oh my gosh, middle school dance. It's coming back to me. Wait, which way was it? Or is this yoga? Grab it and pull it up. How did I do that? I used to be able to pull my leg like straight up. Oh. Hoo -hoo. Anyway, now that we've determined that I'm old, I don't know about this one. It's still cute, but uh, long sleeves and long pants. No. I actually think I did pretty good. Eight outfits, seven days, not bad. Oh, and then over here, I have my stuff from Amazon Fashion that I wanna bring, even if I don't wear just to get pictures in to include in my review. And then I also have swimsuits from Amazon, apart from this one that's from Mont C, Mont. But now the most important part of any beach trip, I need to decide what swimsuits, oh, this isn't working. <laughs> swimsuits I'm gonna bring. 
here are my matching pairs. I couldn't find the matching bottoms, but I'm thinking either like a leopard or maybe these blue ones. And then also these green ones. I'm thinking either like this bandeau, this is from ASOS by the way, or this top, which I actually don't know if it fits because it's a hand-me-down from Anne. Let's go through and decide which ones we're taking. Definitely this one from Target. This is like my favorite. Definitely this one too. Uh, yes. Wow. This is... Okay, I want to take this top, but I might take just black bottoms with it. This one I want to take. What are we going to wear her with? Okay, light if blue. If you did like a different shade of blue too, like as oh, a cover up. Okay, girl. Ooh, the her. golden hour silhouette. Oh, yeah, let's do that. We'll come back to that to be resumed. We took a brief intermission to go to Trivia with a bunch of my friends. Very fun. Um, but now today is a day of appointments to get ready. And I'm running very late, so I'm at a red light right now. And breakfast is two things of justin's honey peanut butter and i'm literally gonna like slurp those down on the interstate on the way to my lash lift and tint appointment the lashes are lifted and tinted Ooh, i don't know if you can actually tell but i think they look so good let's get a little side angle yeah, and I put a little bit of makeup on, but I have all of the swimsuit tops that I want to bring laid out on my bed. And I'm going to go through now and try to match up cover-ups and shorts, kind of like figure out some outfits with that, and it'll help me narrow it down a little bit. I just arrived at the salon and I'm like 20 minutes early. My hair actually looks good right now, which is also kind of unusual. The last time I had it cut was in March or April, sometime in the spring, and I finally got curtain bangs. I wish I did it earlier because I was obsessed, um, but this is one of them, so they've definitely grown way out. Oh wait, I'm gonna do that thing that cool influencers do. Okay, can't do a 360, but wait. Okay, here's the back, to the best of my ability. Back at this side and the front before. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the after. It looks pretty much the same. Touched up the curtain bangs just a little bit. Redid the layers, thinned it a little bit because I have so much hair and I always get it thinned every time I get a haircut. But yeah, I think it looks great. Now we're gonna go to Target because I need to get sunscreen. I need to get one more packing cube. I think that's all. So let's go run some errands. They are literally out of the entire sunscreen display. Surely they have more. I want to get a spray, but these are the only two. 30 SPF and then 50. I think I might go with this. What is it like? What's the difference between baby kids and regular? Target haul, and sorry for the noise, uh, my car is on because it is so hot. Got a set of packing cubes, and I was actually very excited to find this swimsuit. I feel like it's a really good dupe for that Mont C Mont swimsuit, or swim, swimsuit. This one is like a quarter of the price too, so I'm gonna return that one. And some sunscreen. I still couldn't find spray, which I generally prefer. Oh, and also another development for today. I don't know if you can see, let me zoom in. This guy, that turns out Anne's boyfriend actually knows. He wrote us a letter about a month ago. He asked if he could propose to his girlfriend in this spot. He said this is like where they used to go when they first started dating seven years ago. And yeah, he's gonna propose. This is, I believe, his older brother and his wife that are there now, like setting up. So yeah, we're taking another quick little break to watch a proposal. Um, is this a vlog or a pack with me video? But I mean, come on, I can't not include something as warm and fuzzy as a proposal, literally, that I can watch from my bedroom window. We're staked out in our front yard. We have our spin drift. We've got our spin drift. I've got the blackberry. Ooh, look at the vibes. Colors? We're like stealthily hidden behind these trees. Oh, I think he said that's her car. Uh, he's literally just waiting for her to show up. They've got the setup there. You can't but see it. There's like candles and a picnic blanket. Hi, and welcome to day three of attempting to pack. I say attempting because I keep getting interrupted by things like proposals and haircuts. So I actually like packed some stuff up last night and then I was like, I just still have like too much. I need to actually narrow it down. Oh, my lack of color bucket hat also came in yesterday. I am so excited about this. Anne has the blue version of this. I got the pink. I didn't think that it would get here in time and it came with two days to spare. This is definitely more of a special treat to myself, but Matilda Jerf has the same one and also Natalie Zakek. Jay Zaychek, two of my favorite influencers, and now I'm twinning with them. So if any of you get this and you talk about it, make sure to add me to the chain 
of influencers, okay? I went through and actually narrowed down my bathing suit. So I'm not bringing as many now. And then I specifically, I was kind of just bringing all my cover up things because I was like, I want to have choices. That's dumb. So I went and actually like paired them with the bathing suits that I'm wearing. Same thing for shorts and everything. I think I'm actually ready to start putting things in my suitcase. Wow, amazing. I've got my packing cubes here and I'm going to try to fit all of my tops and bottoms into one cube. Oh, nice. Didn't even have a hard time zipping. I also want to grab some athletic wear. I think I'll bring my girlfriend collective sports bra crop top thing. Definitely my free people sports bras. I've been obsessed with these. Got some tank stone here. Oh, I'll probably bring this one. I thrifted this last year, but it's like a Nike tennis top. Be cute. Honestly, also <laughs> this Nike tank that I thrifted like a week ago. Very similar, but it's like Kelly green. I love that color green. This light green athletic tee that it is from Target. It's really hard to tell. It's kind of like a yellowy green, but the lighting is fluorescent. I think I'll bring my new OV Outdoor Voices Court Squirt because like I said, Anne has put me onto these. I just got a white one and a black one, but I think I'll bring the white. Probably these shorts that are also from Walmart, like my favorite black ones. These are a slightly different style, but I love them. They were in one of my most recent Instagram posts and I had a few questions about where they're from, even though I tagged them, but I was like, no, look, they're legit from Walmart. Actually, I might bring these. I haven't worn these in forever. Yeah, I think that should probably be good. Grab my undies. In here, ooh, don't look. And socks. Just gonna grab random ones out of here and probably just throw them in a bag. Got my undies and socks here in these bags. As you can tell, I'm very much a bag and bag person. So now I've got my athletic stuff. I wish I had more medium sized packing cubes. I only have like little ones and then these huge ones. Now that I have these big ones free, I'm gonna go through and take all the outfits that I've packed and probably separate them into tops and bottoms and put all the bottoms into one, all the tops in another, regardless of if they're like fancy outfits or workout clothes. Dresses. Oh, this is gonna be tight. This is the one that takes up all the space because it's so fluffy. Boom. Not bad at all. Beach towels. Both of these are from Target. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the last two little packing cubes for accessories such as scarves and stuff. I've got a whole bunch of different things. Let's do a little show and tell. This little scarfy poo. It's stretchy. It's from Target. I've also got this one, which I love the size of. I think I might actually try to wear this as like a top. And then I have this little headband. Uh, take a guess. She's from Target. And I also just have like some random headbands because I know it's gonna be super humid so I'm gonna be really annoyed with my hair. This scarf sash whatever you want to call it from Urban. Pink bandana. Claw clips. I've been obsessed with claw clips all summer just like everyone else. This one's from Amazon. Link it down below. This one's actually also from Amazon. This came in like a pack of four and then these three are from Urban Outfitters. This one oh my gosh pink and white checker. It's like kind of pearly too. Are you kidding me? And I actually just got these within the past month or so so they definitely still sell them. They'll be linked down below of course. I'm bringing all of them because I genuinely wear them like every single day and I know that I will actually wear all five that I pack. I like wearing sunglasses as headbands, so that's what they're there for, for the most part. These that I recently got from Target, love the color. They look awful on me, but like I've said, headband. And then of course I'm bringing my Dixie Tortoise. I've talked about these before. They're linked down below, love them. And then these from Amazon, they look awful, headband but I love the blue. I'm bringing three bucket hats, this cream one from Amazon, this orange one. It's kind of like a hunting orange almost. Also Amazon, these were both like eight bucks. This lavender one from Urban Outfitters, of course her. I'm gonna wear her every chance I get. And then also three baseball caps. Like I said, I'm really not trying to be super tight on what I pack. So I'm bringing my outdoor voice. So I'm bringing my Outdoor Voices hat, my BMW hat, and this green one that is also from Amazon. It's like in between a trucker hat and just a regular baseball cap. I think I'm actually going to leave this one out because it's not supposed to get crushed or anything. And it came with a little dust bag, so it's gonna go separately. But yeah, hats packed. Actually, most things are packed. The only things I need now are toiletries and shoes and what else? 
jewelry. Oh, how could I almost forget? I always bring a big sweatshirt because sometimes it gets a little chilly. How am I going to choose? I think I'll probably go with this one that I was wearing in the beginning of this video. It's from PacSun. It's huge, but my absolute favorite thing about it is that it has pockets. How amazing is that? I didn't even know until after I bought it. Then I'll also need some t-shirts to sleep in. So I think I'll do this that I got in Santa Fe. Tie-dye one that I got at Lollapalooza in 2019. But we are doing our own tie-dye. I don't know. Tie-dye is just so beachy. Maybe our tie-dye won't turn out very well. What are we feeling, guys? Help me go through my mass of t-shirts. Actually, maybe I'll do this one. I actually also got this one at Lollapalooza, but it says Childish Gambino, and then I'm not going to unfold it, but on the back it says, feels like summer. All right, now we're gonna take yet another intermission because I'm meeting Anne to get our nails done. Actually, Turner, her boyfriend, is coming too and he's getting pedicures with us. Ben can't make it because he has to work, but I'm very excited to actually get my nails done because this Band-Aid is probably so annoying. So pretty. We got the same color on our toes. Uh, very cute. Nice little like periwinkle. Golden hour nail reveal. <gasps> oh my gosh, I so love. I've wanted to get this design for a while now. The guy that did them killed it too. Like I'll insert the photo that I showed him right there. Yeah, yeah. And they look like exactly the same. I'm obsessed. We resume again. For bags, I'm bringing my favorite tote bag from Lisa Says Ga. Great beach bag. Then I'm also, of course, bringing my Outdoor Voices tote bag. I pretty much just alternate between these two. Just for a pop of color, this Lisa Says Ga pink and red tote bag. But then I'm bringing this straight striped beach bag. It's like waterproof on the inside. And I was thinking it might work as like a cooler for drinks on the beach. And then believe it or not, for real purses, I'm actually going to be chill for once in my life. I'm going to bring this one, my favorite purse that I got from Shein last year before I knew how awful of a company they were. Um, I don't shop there anymore for the record, but I still use that purse because I love it. A little canvas, blue and white plaid. And then also my splurge from last summer, my Jacobus Le Chiquito bag. I know my light is a little bright, She's like a really pretty bubblegum pink, hot pink. Almost so small that it's unusable, but how could I not take her? All right, so I've got my makeup all packed up in here. Check, check. I put my brushes in one of these little Glossier pouches. I really should invest in one of those like toiletry rolls that you hang up. I just use a bunch of different bags. So I've got my shower stuff and I didn't put anything in little travel bottles. For one, I feel like it's kind of a waste of time to try to squeeze everything in there, but I also kind of feel like it's wasteful because you can never actually use up everything. I use these little, they're like reusable Ziploc bags from Target. They're TSA compliant, which is great because you can put your liquids in them when you're flying, but they're also reusable and I don't know I feel like Ziploc bags are also kind of wasteful and this one I've got most of my skincare stuff I'm never able to fit it all there's always like one or two products that I can't fit Sunday Riley a plus high dose retinoid oil Yes, big recommend, so worth it. I've got my Coco Kind Vitamin C Serum, then my UFO Serum Oil, whatever. It's like an acne treatment, got it for Christmas, and I still have like a quarter of it left, so this goes a long way. Last but not least, my moisturizer. This is the Wasso from Shiseido, and then this bag is just totally random stuff. My regular razor, this razor, which is specifically for bikini area and underarms, and I thought it was kind of a gimmick at first, but I got so sick of, especially my underarms being so, sensitive. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like I have to shave every single day and it gets so irritated and like having to keep shaving, shaving makes it worse. So I got sick of that and I decided just to cave and try this and it actually makes a difference. So I definitely recommend this. It's um, Gillette Venus. Don't know the exact model, but it looks like this and I'll try to link it down below. Deodorant. This is the native deodorant in the scent lilac and white tea. And then I also just have a bunch of floss picks in there. I know it's not very hygienic, but um, I didn't really know how else to pack them so yeah those are all my toiletries that I now have to repack and I guess I've got to do my shoes electronics if I was actually trying to conserve space I would probably narrow it down to two or three maybe four pairs but I'm bringing all of these because literally why not I think I'm gonna wear these in the car so they can stay out okay so I am finally 
all packed. I'm gonna go through everything one more time just in case I missed anything. On this side, I've got my purses, tote bag, beach bag. Underneath there, I have my swimsuits. On this side, I've got all my sunglasses, beach cover up my Le Chiquito, my pickleball paddle, got all my Amazon stuff, my jewelry, my bucket hats, beach towels, hair accessories, and then on this side I have my sunscreen and this pouch here, my two glossy pouches with my shower stuff. I'm not gonna try to pull them out because they're <laughs> they're in there pretty tight. On this side I've got two sweatshirts, one that's a bit more thin and then one that's a bit more heavy. I've got my sleep t-shirts, bras and undies, my dresses, including my Outdoor Voices tie-dye workout dress that arrived today. Woohoo! Then I've got all of my bottoms and all my tops. So that's everything that's in my suitcase. And now for the moment of truth. Actually, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. I have to use the extension. That like wasn't even hard at all. And now I've officially packed three weeks worth of stuff for a one week trip. Ooh, I'm so glad to be done. I'm so excited to get on the road tomorrow. And hopefully I'm gonna get this video up. It is currently, that's not right. My watch says a bunch of zeros. Currently 12.54. Guess I'm gonna try to stay up and edit this video. We'll see. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I spent a lot of time on it. If you did, definitely subscribe. Give this video a like. You know the spiel. Turn on notifications so that you never miss an upload. Follow all my other social media, blah, blah, blah. I will see you guys next time and be looking out for a beach vlog, boyfriend video, still doing that Amazon fashion video, and a uh, restyling chuggy outfit. So I've got four videos that are in the pipeline and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!